Hey guys, welcome to That's Cakeable. I'm Janine, and this week I thought I'd do something a little low key, something a little different. I'm going to show you how I created these marbleized geometric heart shaped cookies. I'll also show you a couple of different techniques of how to transfer your images and patterns onto your cookies. Plus, all the recipes you need to make these guys are on my website. Let's get on with the video. So of course, to create these geometric heart shaped cookies, I first had to bake some cookies. Using the recipe that you can find over on my website at thatscakeable.com, I made some heart shaped cookies that were vanilla flavor. The recipe is great, they don't spread, they don't move, they just bake how they're meant to bake. Now my cookies were baked and cooled and ready to decorate, I needed some royal icing. So of course I made my royal icing, a good size batch of it. You can find the recipe for this royal icing at thatscakeable.com also. So the first thing I have to do with the royal icing is to get it to the right consistency to dip. Now the right consistency for dipping royal icing is probably just ever so slightly thinner than a standard flooding royal icing. So just a bit thinner than runny honey. The best thing to do of course is to add the water gradually until you get the right consistency. Once I had the right consistency and I was happy with it, the next thing to do is to marble the icing. I do this by choosing what colours I want. The first colours I chose were like a burgundy and a grey. Then I take a little bit of one of the colours, pop it on the top of a toothpick and swirl it through the royal icing. I did this with both colours until I was happy with the mixture. Then again, bear in mind that you're not going to get this exact pattern. Your cookies and royal icing will do exactly what they want to do. Then you take the cookie upside down and dip it into that royal icing. Lift it up and shake off the excess and then flip it up the other way. Now to get my royal icing nice and smooth and level, I shake it around on the tray that I've popped it onto. The other way I use at times is taking a cookie scribe and just gently poking it into the top layer of the cookie and giving it a good shake. This will make sure everything's nice and smooth. Go ahead and do that with all of your cookies, choosing any colors you wish. Next thing you have to do, of course, is to pop those cookies aside for that royal icing to set nice and firm. Now, I use a dehydrator to dry mine, so within a couple of hours, mine are ready to decorate. But if you don't have a dehydrator, you can put them under a fan or just leave them at room temperature overnight. Now, these cookies look gorgeous just as they are now, so of course, you could just leave them and serve them like this. But I'm going to take it one step further. To continue decorating, the first thing I want to do is clean up the cookie a little bit. In the dipping process, you are going to get some royal icing around those edges, which is completely normal. To remove those edges, all I'm going to do is take a sharp paring knife and basically just shave the edges of the cookie to tidy it up. Right, now I'm going to show you a couple of methods that I use to transfer images and patterns onto cookies. The first way I'm going to show you is the way that I've been doing it for probably the longest and that's with an app called the Camera Lucida app. It's a free app that basically turns your phone into a projector. If you've seen my Frozen 2 Anna cake, you would have seen me use this app before. So basically all you need to do is have the image that you want to transfer onto your cookie already on your phone. You then line that image up with the cookie and then you can actually convert it to make it larger and smaller, which makes transferring the image that bit easier. Now the only thing you have to get past here is the depth perception part because you're looking through the viewfinder and having to draw onto the cookie. I guarantee you though, once you get used to it, it's actually quite simple. Now even though my alternative method is a lot more expensive as setup, I actually prefer this method. The second method I'm going to show you is, as I said, a bit more expensive to set up. Now what this is, is an actual mini projector. What I'm doing is screen mirroring from my phone to the projector, and the projector is projecting that image onto the cookie. Now there is a downside to this one as well. Quite often, because the image is projected, your hand will cast shadows and block out the actual image that's on the cookie, which makes it a little bit difficult at times. And because you can't turn the cookie around, you have to really maneuver your hand rather than being able to maneuver the cookie. It's a great option for some, but like I said, I prefer the old camera Lucida. Of course, there's another great way you can do this if you don't have either of these options at hand. Make sure that the image is drawn to scale to match the cookie, then trace over that image onto a piece of tissue paper. 
place the tissue paper over the iced cookie and then trace over that image with an edible pen. The ink from the edible pen will bleed through the tissue paper, leaving you a line to use as a guide. I'm using the round 1.5 tip to pipe these cookies with quite a stiff royal icing. Any mistakes I made, I just took a brush and gently wiped it off, went back and fixed it up. One of the tips that I have for piping royal icing in lines like this is start at one point, dot, lift and pull, lay down and dot again. Dot, lift and pull, lay down and dot again. As you're lifting and pulling, keep pressure on the bag and as you get closer to the end, release pressure. Once the cookies were all piped, it was time to once again set them aside to let that royal icing set up nice and firm. Once that was done, I took some gold and some rose gold luster dust that I then mixed with some decorator's rose spirit. You can use vodka for this also. I very carefully then went ahead and painted all of those lines on the cookies. Now the tip for doing this without getting gold luster or rose gold luster everywhere is to make sure that you lay your brush flat on top of the line. If you lay it pointed, it's going to actually get onto the cookie rather than just the royal icing. It just takes a little bit of practice. And that's it guys, that's how you make these marbled geometric heart cookies. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you're informed every time I upload a new video. Well guys, thank you so much for keeping me company this week. I look forward to seeing you again next time. But in the meantime, you know what to do. Go and get your cake or your cookie on. See you next time guys, bye.